Okay, today we're going to start lesson three. Um, I've taken some of the ideas that you guys have given me to try and make the videos a little better. Uh, for anyone watching this, maybe in a few months or next year, the mustache, it is Movember. So, um, this is not usual. So first I'm going to start with the uh, topic for today is common factors of a polynomial. And the learning intentions today, so by the end of the movie, you should be able to understand how to, or what the definitions of polynomials and the definition of factor, what they are. You will be able to factor common factors of a polynomial. And the third thing that you're gonna, we're going to go over today is to understand how to express a polynomial and its factors using algebra tiles. Our definitions for today include what a factor is. Maybe I should have started with this the other day um, because we've been doing factoring, but it's not too late. So to factor means to write as a product. And when we say product, um, in case you don't understand what a product is, something you may remember would be the sum. When you add two numbers, 2 plus 5, the sum is 7. The difference, the difference between two numbers is subtracting. So 5 minus 2, or the difference between 5 and 2, is 3. So product specifically refers to multiplying. And a factor means to write as a product. So 20 factored would be a list of all its products. 2 times 2 times 5. And the second, second definition we're doing today is a polynomial. And a polynomial is one or more terms... If it was one term, it would be called a monomial, um, but a monomial is just a special polynomial. So one or more terms whose variables, and by variables we mean letters, have whole number exponents. So this polynomial has three terms, and terms are split up, split up by plus or minus signs. 3x squared is one term, plus 2x is one term, minus 7 is one term. So this polynomial has three terms, and it's a polynomial because it is made up of whole number exponents. x squared, 2 is a whole number. It's not like x to the 1 and a half. It's a whole number. And x to the power of 1. And so polynomials can be bigger, they can be smaller, but it's split up by terms using variables or letters with whole number exponents. Now we're going to look at some examples and we're going to start to factor some of these. And the title today, going back to that, is Common Factors of a Polynomial. So first of all, this is a polynomial because it has two terms and our variable has a whole number. The whole number in this case is 1. And our next question, this polynomial has three terms, 8x cubed plus x squared minus 4x. And it is a polynomial because they are whole number exponents, power of 3 and squared. The other part of this uh, title was common factors. So common factors means we're going to take out what they share in common. So try and think right now, what does 6, 8, sorry, what does 6x and 18 have in common? Remember, factors, the definition of factors related to products, which means multiplying. If What could we take out of these that we could multiply back in later to get the same answer? Because one of the keys to this is if you can't get back to where you started, then you've done something wrong. So, 6x and 18. And we need to compare numbers and letters. 6 and 18, they both divide by 2. So we could start there and divide by 2. So, if I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 2 out of every single term. If I can't take it out of every single term, I'm doing something wrong. So if I divide 6x by 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3x. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So I've factored it. Now, I'm correct if I can go back to the way I started. And to see, a bracket means multiply. And so when something's in front of the bracket, we need to multiply it into each piece in front. So 2 times 3x and also 2 times 9. So let's see if we can get back to where we started. 2 times 3 is 6x. 2 times 9 is 18. Okay. Now with this, we know we factored correctly, but did we factor it completely? So if I erase my check, 
is 3x plus 9 factored completely, or is there something still in there that's in common? And there is. 3 and 9, they both divide by 3. So I can take more out. So I could do, start with my 2 again. Now if I take 3 out of both of these, I have 3. 3x three divided by 3 left me with x. 9 divided by 3 left me with 3. And notice, sorry, I put a, a dot here. A dot is another sign for multiply whenever we're using x's, because an x looks a lot like a time symbol. So I've used a dot here just to save some confusion. So now I have 2 times 3 is 6. x plus 3. And let's just do a mental check here without showing the work. 6 times x is 6x. Yep, got back to where I started. 6 times 3 is 18. Got back to where I started. And there's no other parts in here, this x and the 3. There's nothing they share in common, so I am done. Now, this is how you're going to do it if you don't get the right number from the start. I had to do two steps, because when I took the 2 out, they still had more in common. But what I could have done is, we'll just put it below, 6x plus 18. Remember last day we did greatest common factors? If I knew the greatest common factor of this, I can do it in all in one step. And I can recognize that 6 and 18, the biggest common factor, is 6. So if I had taken 6 out right away, and when I say take it out, I don't mean take away like minus. Taking it out means factoring out in this case. So 6x divides 6 leaves me with x. 18 divided by 6 leaves me with 3. And hopefully you can see here and here I got the same answers. But this one was certainly quicker. I did it in one step because I took out the greatest common factor. Now let's look at another. The question asks us to factor or take out all the common parts of this polynomial. Let's look at the numbers first. 8, 1x squared, so 8, 1, and 4. The only thing they share in common is a 1, and we're not going to take 1s out. Let's look at the variables or the letters, x cubed, x squared, and x. They all share one x in common. So I'm going to take an x, or divide an x, out of each piece. And when we divide variables or letters, an x cubed divided by an x, when we're dividing variables, we're taking one away as in subtracting. So x cubed divided by x is, well, let's deal with our 8 first. We're not touching the numbers in this case because they had no numbers in common. But the variables, x cubed divide x is x squared. And this is something you did in grade 9. x squared divide x, where when we're dividing variables, we subtract. So this is a power of 2. This is a power of 1, although we don't show that. So power of 2 minus a power of 1 is a single x. And 4x divide by an x. There's a 1 and a 1. When we divide variables, we're subtracting. So 4x divided by x is 4. And now 8x squared, x, and 4, they share nothing in common. And now for a check, we can expand it. Expand means we're going to work all our pieces back into our brackets. We can see by checking if we got back to where we wanted. So x times 8x squared, when we multiply, we add the variable. So an x and an x squared is 8x cubed. x times x is x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. And you can see these two are the same. So my check worked out. And now our last example here, I missed a part when I wrote that up. Factor 5c squared plus 15c. So if we look back to our first question here, they shared the number 6 in common. The next example shared an x in each piece. And our next one here, 5 and 15, well they share something in common, but so does the letters as well. So we need to take out all parts they have in common. 5 and 15 share a 5 in common. C squared and C share a C in common. So I'm going to divide 5C out of each piece. 5 divide 5 is just 1. C squared divides C. When we divide variables, we subtract them. So C squared 
and C1 is, there's a C left behind. 15 divide 5 is 3. C divides C. Anything divided by itself is 1. So there's technically a 1 there, but 3 times 1 is just 3, so we're going to leave it. Our answer is fully factored 5C times, brackets are times, C plus 3. And again, we can check this by expanding. 5C times C, 5 times 1 is 5, C times C, C squared. 5 times 3, 15, C times 1 is C. And you can see we got back to where we started.